Looks like we have some packages. Hey y'all, welcome to the vlog. My name is Megan. If you're new here, welcome and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel and helps YouTube push my videos out to more people. Plus it means a Alexia girl. Anyways, um, today we are gonna be making deodorant. Natural deodorant because I have tried so, 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 so many aluminum free deodorants from the grocery store and the drugstore and none of them are to my standards or to my liking. So um, we're gonna try to make our own and see how we like it. Hopefully it's good and then I can just make my own deodorant from here on out. I also just want to say that like um, regular deodorants and the aluminum free deodorants still have fragrances in them and fragrance fragrances can I just speak fragrances are actually pretty bad for your health and so I'm trying to eliminate fragrances in my life whether that be soap or candles or deodorant but I'm starting off small and starting with deodorant. And then maybe we'll try some soap or something cause I think that would be fun to do. Let me know in the comments down below what item I should try next to make because I think this is gonna be a really fun video. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, bye. All right, all this stuff is from Amazon. I actually just got it today, but I don't know why they couldn't put it in one box. That was kind of a waste of um, paper if you ask me. But anyways, I got stuff from Amazon. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so first off, this has nothing to do with the deodorant, but I bought this because I have some natural soap that I am gonna use, but I I just hate lathering it up with a washcloth, so I think this will be easier. And these are um, soap socks so basically what you do is you put the soap inside of this and you can use it like a loofah next we have this colon clay i don't know how to say that this is what the package looks like yeah i'm gonna wait and open that because it looks like it's gonna be a mess next we'll open this bag oh okay so this has nothing to do with the deodorant either, but I went ahead and bought, uh, ordered these. They are bamboo toothbrushes. Next we have, what is this? By the way, sorry if you can hear my husband in the background around his four wheeler and chainsawing. He's just, you know, having a day outside. <laughs> what is this? Whatever it is, they packaged it up really well. I'm like working up a sweat doing this. Ah, oh, there we go. And now I gotta tear through this back. Oh my gosh, it's wrapped again. Oh, I know what it is. It's probably why it was wrapped like that, because it's um, jars. I got these to put the deodorant in, and it's got this little wood top and then a clear plastic. So, came in a pack of four because you can make the deodorant and put it in here and then wash it and reuse it again which is my plans and then also i get extra so if i want to make deodorant for my husband or for one of my friends then i can do that got some arrowroot powder and last box so we're gonna open the straw without shaking you guys all right next we have some shea butter and some zinc oxide you can actually use baking soda rather than the zinc oxide, but I chose to go with this because a lot of people actually have skin irritations to the baking soda. So I just wanted to be safer and go with the zinc oxide. And fun fact, you can actually use this for sunscreen as well. We got um, essential oils. I got the tea tree oil because that's what I plan on using the most for the deodorant. It said, um, I'll see if I can pull it up somewhere, but on Pinterest I think it was, it said that um, tea tree actually removes odor molecules. So it's actually really well, it's actually really good to use for deodorant smells. And then I just got these little, I don't know why it came with two. I have to check on that, but I got 
some essential oils. And I'll open one of these up so I can show you what's included in this box. So I can already smell them. This is the flavors, the scents, I should say. Um, so we have eucalyptus, lavender, lemongrass, peppermint, sweet orange, and tea tree. I can smell one of them really strongly. I don't know which one it is. Maybe the lemongrass. I don't know. I mean, it smells good, but it's like strong. So minus the toothbrushes and the soap sock. Um, this is all you need for the deodorant. De for the deodorant besides coconut oil, which I already had in my um, cupboard. So I didn't buy that from Amazon. I'm just gonna use what I have because it's just sitting around and has been for I don't know how long. So let's get started on making some deodorant. Okay, so we're gonna get started making the deodorant. Um, I just wanted to note that I got this recipe off of TikTok, so it's not my recipe. And I just wanna give the person credit because they deserve it. And um, I just got all my stuff ready. Hang on and I'll show you. So I got my bowl so you can see, and then my two measuring spoons. I am just gonna face the camera where you can see the bowl pretty much, and you won't see me. But that is because I want you to see how the deodorant looks and turns out rather than watching me, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> enough said. Okay, so here is the finished product. I hope you can see that. So now we just have to let it sit for I think 48 hours so it'll cool down and um, get into like a tacky consistency because um, you, sh let me show you. All right, excuse the mess back here, but uh, this is the deodorant I usually wear. It's the Sarah's Day. It's basically her recipe except hers has different essential oils in it. This is what it looks like, like once it's dry. And then you just take your finger in here, scoop it out and rub it onto your armpits. Which I know doesn't sound appealing, but you get used to it. You just have to wipe your fingers when you're done. And in all, like, hold on. It's just overall better for your health. So I'd rather have sticky fingers for a couple of minutes than shave five years off my life. That might be dramatic, I don't know, but uh, that's the way I look at it. Let's go back. This is a 50 ml container, and as you can see, it like filled it up. So I'm gonna do that, and we'll let her set. And here's the aftermath of, of that. It's a mess. So I would recommend doing it in a kitchen or somewhere you don't want to get like getting this stuff everywhere. Um, I'm not sure how um, I felt about the scent at first. That's why I went back and added more peppermint because I wanted a, a sweeter flavor or sweeter scent. And it kind of tasted, tasted, it smelled like really earthy and like, I don't know how to describe it other than earthy. All right, I actually forgot that the video actually said to um, just pop this in the freezer for an hour or so. That's what I'm gonna do and then I'll show you the guys. And then I'll show you guys the finished result. Okay guys, so it just finished raining, but that's not why I'm back on the camera. Hang on. It didn't look like you were straight. Okay, um, so it has been a little over an hour since I put the deodorant in the freezer, so we're gonna go check it out. It's really cold. So here's my deodorant, it's frozen. And here's what it looks like. It smells, it smells okay. I think um, next time I would try a different essential oil blend. 
I don't know how the product works yet because I've never tried it before, but when I do figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Anyways, um, the, uh, I keep saying, oh, the woman that I got the recipe from actually used a different blend of essential oils. Maybe I should have used the oils that she used, like the blend of oils, the scents, because maybe it would have smelled a little better. I'm just not the biggest fan of lavender, so honestly, I don't know why. I actually used that in my deodorant. I just thought it would like go well with the tea tree, but I think it's really like strong, really strong. So be aware of that. Like maybe you can go on Pinterest and find a good blend of oils to match whatever scent that you are feeling. It feels like it's gonna be creamy. So I think um, it's good to like set out now and then use as a deodorant. I'm super excited to try it out. You guys will have to let me know if you actually try this recipe and tell me what essential oil blend that you used so I can uh, maybe try out your scent. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up like I said before because it really supports my YouTube channel and helps YouTube push it out to more people so more people can have some nice smelling armpits, you know? Yeah. Um, also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video and you're gonna wanna see it because who knows what I'm gonna make next, right? Anyways, um, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, P.S. Follow me on Instagram right here.